She doesn't look like she wanted that bad. You not seen it? Hi! Hi guys! Welcome to my channel, my name is Bruno Brito, I do commentaries on movies and other stuff. Well guys, today we're gonna watch American Beauty. Here's the thing, I watched The Green Mile, Cardo, and in that movie I was like, okay, this movie is perfect, again an Oscar. And then I find out that The Green Mile lost for American Beauty. And I was like, American Beauty is that good? Because Green Mile is perfect. So I'm gonna watch it to see it. That's it. The only thing that I know is about Kevin Spacey being in love with a teenager. Honestly, for sorry. Not a lot to say, so let's find out why this movie gained an Oscar. Because to me, <laughs> don't figure it out. I really hope you like this video. In case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me reach 10,000 subs someday. And also, I have a Patreon. I'm gonna post for reactions, LSS, and post on these videos. Everything has a link in the description. That's it, and let's go. I need a father who's a role model. Not some horny geek boy who's gonna spray his shorts whenever I bring a girlfriend home from school. What a lame-o. That's not the name, but okay. Want me to kill him for you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Would you? Okay. In less than a year, I'll be dead. Okay. Oh my god, he's really old. This will be the high point of my day. Dad, this is so uncomfortable. From here. I prefer sitting down, you know. That's our next door neighbor, Jim. And that's his lover, Jim. You spoil her. Bitsy, me. No bark. Come inside. Really, Jim and Jim? Good morning, Jim. Morning, Carolyn. I'm an actor. She wasn't always like this. She used to be happy. <laughs> we used to be happy. Okay, and what are you doing exactly for to get this better, you know? Because it's not only her fault. Honey, are you trying to look unattractive? Yes. Congratulations, you've succeeded admirably. <laughs> I know I didn't always feel this sedated. You're depressed. Is that it? You have depression. You know Hey, Les. You got a minute? For you, Brad? I got five. So, yeah. He's gonna be fired. Like the time Mr. Flarnor used the company MasterCard to pay for that hooker. And that's that's fifty thousand dollars. That's somebody's salary. That's somebody who's gonna get fired because Craig has to pay women to fuck him. Jeez. Oh, calm down. Oh, you're not gonna fire him because of that. Come on, a substantial portion of the root structure was on our property. You know that. How can you call it their sycamore? Okay, the both of them are problems. Why do we always have to listen to this elevator music? And then as soon as you've prepared a nutritious yet savory meal that I'm about to eat, you can listen to whatever you like. I mean, fair. What do you expect? You can't all of a sudden be my best friend just because you had a bad day. My god, though. Hello. You've barely even spoken to me for months. What? Why? I'm gonna get some ice cream. Yeah, okay, the whole, pro the whole family has problems. Oh, I know this actor! That's not the hot guy from Hunger Games. I think he's in American Horror Story. Oh, he's the guy who is in the beginning of the movie is gonna say that he's gonna kill him. Really? The dog is gonna make the boyfriend kill the father? This is awful. The king. Oh, I'm the actor also. I will sell this house to the Yes, words of affirmation. I like her. Welcome. I'm Carolyn Burnham. This living room is very dramatic. Wait till you see. I love this actor. Oh, he's so young. If you have a problem with the plants, I can always call my landscape architect. Solved. I mean, I think lagoon, I think waterfall, I think tropical. This is a... Okay, you only want the pool or you want the whole house? <laughs> okay. Shut up! Stop it, you weed, you baby! Shut up! <laughs> okay, so nobody's happy. My parents are coming tonight. They're trying to, you know, take an active interest in me. Gross. I hate it when mom is in Dad. They're such assholes. They just have their own lives. You're the daughter. 
I'm missing the James Bond marathon on TNT. Lester. Ooh. This is Wow, TNT, I don't listen to that in years. <laughs> I would never imagine her as a cheerleader, but okay. <laughs> She's so unhappy. I'm cute, I'm popular to boot, I'm bitching, gray hair, the boys I love to stare, I want it, I'm hot, I'm everything or not, I'm gonna react to this movie. Ah, uh, okay. Disgusting. Oh, okay, now it's imagination. Oh, okay. How honest this movie is gonna go? Okay, he's not gonna show it. Huh? He didn't pay attention to anything. I really enjoyed that. Congratulations, honey. You were great. I didn't win anything. Hi, I'm Lester, Jamie's dad. Ah, uh, disgusting. Oh, hi. We have to go. We're going out for pizza. Oh, really? Do you need a ride? We can give you a ride. I have a car. You want to come with us? Oh, my God. Uh... Janie's thinking about getting a car, too, soon, aren't you? Honey? Dad, Mom's waiting for you. Dad, can you stop hitting on my friend? That's why the police never leaves the house. Any friend of Janie's is a... No, he's not. Friend of mine. No, he's not. Okay, I hate this movie already because of this. I really hope it never well, turns into something. I'm so sorry. I'll be seeing you around then. I think it's sweet. And I think he and your mother have not had sex in a long time. I mean, I like you. Congrats. <laughs> ah, I'm still thinking about her. Oh, American Beauty. Is that her? She's like... It's the weirdest thing. American Beauty? Ooh, nice shot though. Oh, I, I see uh, I see this shot. It's very popular. Not sponsor, but like, comment. I'm used to guys drooling over me. It started when I was about 12. Ah, awful. Go to dinner. If people I don't even know look at me and want to fuck me, it means I really have a shot at being a model. It's That's not... Mm, okay. Because, there's, because everything that was meant to happen does. Eventually. Ooh, I believe in these also. He only feels her. He's always her. <laughs> she saw it. Oh my god, terrifying. Asshole. Ah! Oh, he's so young, my god. Hmm. That was fine. Will you grab her phone? Oh my god. Well, my phone just rang and I answered it and somebody hung up and I started 69 and I called you back. Well, I was in the shower. Oh, gross. Yeah, it's your father. Hmm, let me know. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! I'm sorry, I must have forgotten. Alison Janie! At the same time that she looks younger, she looks older. You understand me? Where did I saw her? In Mrs. Mrs. Smith, right? There where I saw her, recently. Are you expecting anyone? No. No. Okay guys, we like answer the door. Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Just a little something from our guard. Jim and Jim, I love them. Jim Olmeyer, two doors down. Welcome to the neighborhood. Colonel Frank Fitz. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you said your partner, so uh, what's your business? Oh, no, honey. He is a tax attorney. And he's an anesthesiologist. Thank you. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. I'm gonna kill somebody. Mm -hmm. How come these faggots always have to rub it in your face? 
Ah, fuck you! How can they be so shameless? They are harder than you. Those facts make me want to puke my fucking guts out. He's saying that only for her father, right? For his father. Well, me too, son. Ah, fuck you. And also, me too. we know that he's straight because he's only he liking the girl, right? Total income. He's doing the patches. He's a really well-known photographer. He shoots for L on like a regular basis. It would have been so majorly stupid of me to turn him down. Oh, honey. Total prostitute. Hey, that's how things really are. You're gonna need so much therapy. You've only been in Seventeen once, and you look fat, so stop acting like you're goddamn Chrissy Turlington. <laughs> Fuck. Cunt! <laughs> yeah. Well, they can't put you away just for saying weird things. You total slut. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I a crush on him. What? Please. You are defending him. You love him. You want to have like 10,000 of his babies. Shut up. Like a seahorse. My name is Ricky. I just moved next door to you. I didn't mean to scare you. I just think you're interesting. Thanks. Really don't need to have some psycho obsessing about me right now. Yeah, I have a lot of things doing now. I'm not obsessing. Just curious. Yeah, he's beautiful. I don't believe him. I mean, he didn't even, like, look at me once. Oh my god, honey, you need to go to therapy. You need to see this. Okay, so there's not one normal person in this movie, right? Except the gays. The gays are fine. Huh? Hey. Uh, why you change the position only because your son was here? What? Listen, just do me a favor. Act happy tonight. I am happy, honey. Oh, that's Buddy. 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 Hi. Hi. Wow, why everybody looks so young when he has older makeup, you know? Everybody looks like he has all the stage makeup. <laughs> honey, don't be weird. <laughs> all right, honey, I won't be weird. Okay. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Well, okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. We have a very healthy relationship. I see. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't you live on Robin Hood Trail? The house with the red door? Yeah. Wow, you're everywhere. I'm Ricky Fitz. I just moved in the house next to you. Do you get high? Let's go. You know, I, I mean, your firm is hands down the Rolls Royce of local real estate firms, and your personal sales record is. How do you know his personal sales record? Intimidating. I'd love to. Really? Absolutely. Call my secretary, have her schedule a lunch. Ah, you are here with me right now. Can we not do it right now? Like, schedule is... Did you ever see that movie where the body is walking around carrying its own head and then the head goes down <laughs> on that bay? <laughs> <laughs> Reanimator. Oh, I need to watch this movie. Excuse me? I quit. So you don't have to pay me. Now leave me alone. My god. That's power. I think you just became my personal hero. Doesn't that make you nervous just quitting your job like that? But he's younger. <laughs> nice meeting you, Ricky Fitz. <laughs> Thanks for the thing. Anytime. Blaster. If you want any more, you know where I live. Oh, that's what you do? You sell drugs. Quick, let's go up to my room. I should say hi to your dad. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> She's awful. And there's a lot of one single shot. Oh, is that root beer? <laughs> He's gonna ejaculate. Okay, it's always uh, association with petals. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi. Remember Angela? Yes. Hi, I'm sorry. I hate you on your husband. She's gonna spend the night. Is that okay? <coughs> <laughs> Mom's the one who's embarrassing. What a phony. But your dad's actually kind of cute. 
Oh my god, I think he's gonna die. If he just worked out a little, he'd be hot. Oh, come on, like you've never sneaked a peek at him in his underwear? I bet he's got a big dick. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna need to go to therapy. Can somebody please? Put up his chest and arms, I would totally fuck him. Oh my god, he's gonna tag him tomorrow. Jeez. What's that noise? My god, very discreet. It says psycho next door. Jane, what if he worships you? Oh my god, she's gonna be in love. <laughs> she's awful. But she, he doesn't care about her. She's smiling. Really, you're gonna start working out why now? This is so stupid, I can't. You can work out a little, a little ass because she's a little inside. Where's the wife? Is the wife is not missing him? Oh my god. Coming, Dad. Good lord. Burn sample. Wow. It's been six months already. Oh, he smoked. Uh, can I give it to you in the morning? I just took a whiz. Yeah, I suppose. You know... Why you do this with your kid? Well... Be nice. Okay, you can have a normal conversation with him. Guys, where I know this fucking actor? Oh, the actor is Chris Cooper. Yeah, but I don't know him. I was hoping you'd give me a bath. Hmm. Is this gonna happen in real life? Because as far as I know, I'm not sure thing one, she's joking about having sex with him, and two, he's only fantasizing, but like he's never doing anything, you know? <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> Honey, I'm so sorry. Well, excuse me, but some of us still have blood pumping through our veins. Don't you mess with me, mister. I will divorce you so fast it'll make your head ah! spin. On what grounds? I don't fuck other women. I, I don't mistreat you. I've never hit you. I mean, you need a reason to divorce her. Yeah, he's sick of it. Okay, he's losing fear. It's a great thing when you realize you still have the ability to surprise yourself. Makes you wonder what else you can do that you've... Ah, stop. I love them. My entire life is passing before my eyes, and those two have barely broken a sweat. Oh, sorry, hi. Lester Burnham, I live next door. We haven't met. Colonel Frank Fitz, U.S. Marine Corps. Yeah, your name is Frank. Shut up. What? Okay, it's up in my room. Okay, come on. Oh, he's gonna think that they are having an affair? Is that it? Where this movie going, you know? One of my clients is a nurse in a pediatrician's office. Oh, nice. Cut her a deal. She keeps me in clean piss. How much is an ounce? My God. This is totally decent and it's 300. Wow. That's a lot though. This is all I ever smoke. How much? Two grand. My God though. Oh, and there's a card in there with my beeper number. Beat me anytime, day or night. And I only accept cash. Well, now I know how you can afford all this equipment. I like updates. Oh my god. There must be some way out of here. Mm, the form is a little home, but okay. Open your arms. I'm going to wail on my pecs and then I'm going to do my back. I, I see you're smoking pot now. I I'm so glad. Yeah, it's midlife crashes. My job consists of basically masking my contempt <laughs> in charge fantasize about a life that doesn't so closely resemble hell. That's beautiful. What do you want? One year's salary with benefits. That's not going to happen. Okay, then. 
What do you say I throw in a little sexual harassment charge to boot? <laughs> I'm just an ordinary guy with nothing to lose. I mean, great, you're gonna have money for this one year. Carolyn. Christy left for New York this morning. Let's just say things were a little... Ah, this is gonna happen, right? Oh. Nice shot, nice shot. Okay, he has a lot of beautiful shots here. It's okay, I'll walk. But thanks. Yeah, see, he doesn't want to go anyway. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Shut up! You can talk with my father, can I talk with him? Oh, it happened. I love him! Oh, oh, you like getting oh, nailed by the king? Oh, yes, yeah? I love it! Well, congratulations on electricity. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this movie is dysfunction, the movie. But like... Green Mile looks to this? Come on. What? Would you like to try our new bacon and eggs fajita? Just a dollar twenty-nine for a woman. Ooh, one dollar twenty-nine, nice. Smiley, our Mr. Smiley's that'll be four ninety. I know her! She's from Scary... <laughs> you will never believe it. She's from Scary Movie. Actually, <laughs> I'd like to fill out an application. There's no jobs for manager, it's just for counter. Good. I'm looking for the least possible amount of responsibility. Oh, really? I was so stressed out. Ah. 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 Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I go to this little firing range downtown and I just pop off a few rounds. I've never fired a gun before. Well, you've got to try it. Oh my god. And what do you see? Oh, boy, she looks so unhappy. This is where my dad hides out. I take it he's got a thing for guns. Okay, we are talking a lot about guns. You gotta see this one thing. One of my clients is a locksmith, and he was short on cash one night, so I let him pay me in trade. Wow, well, okay. His clients are great. <laughs> okay. Is he too, I was kidding. Oh my god. There's a whole subculture of people who collect this Nazi shit. Really? Your father's a Nazi? Ugh. My dad just has this one thing. You want to see the most beautiful thing I've ever filmed? Dad. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag crossing to the wind or need to start again? Do you ever feel also paper thin like a house of cards and where you're caving in? Do you ever feel maybe the reason why? Ah, oh, this stars are boobie! <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? What time is it? No, oh, dinner. Okay, he's like, off the rails. And then I blackmailed him for almost $60,000 past the asparagus. <laughs> Your father seems to think this kind of behavior is something to be proud of! I mean, 60000 I quit! Someone passed the asparagus. Oh, 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 and I want to- <laughs> Potter! What, are you gonna take care of everything now, Carolyn? Yes, I don't mind. I really don't. You mean everything? You don't mind having the sole responsibility? Guys, he gained 60,000. I'm not gonna be a part of this. Shut up! Yes. He's gonna stop the music. Oh, I thought he's gonna stop the music. What? You don't- <laughs> I wanted a aspahus. Don't interrupt me, honey. I mean, bye. Divorce. Call the police. Bye. From now on, we're going to alternate our dinner music because, frankly, and I don't think I'm alone here, I'm really tired of this Lawrence Welk shit. So, honey, how was your day? I I wish that you hadn't witnessed that awful scene tonight, but in a way, I'm glad. Why? So I could see what freaks you and Dad really are. How is her fault? You cannot count on anyone except yourself. Why you cry? Look, Mom, I really don't feel like having a Kodak moment here, okay? <gasps> you ungrateful little brat! When I was your age, I lived in a duplex. We didn't even have our own house. For her. I have the feeling we are discounting a lot of frustrations on our daughter, okay? Oh. 
Wow, that's big breath. My god. Congrats. You little bastard. Yeah, no, I, I just want to get in there. Oh, how? What? Oh. Come on, get up. Get up. Oh, nice thing that she's seen it because. Are you on Doppelganger? No, so I wanted to show my girlfriend your Nazi plate. She lives next door. What's the problem? This is for your own good boy. No, it's not. Shut up. There are rules in life. Yes, sir. You need discipline. discipline. Yes, sir. Thank you for trying to teach me. Don't give up on me, Dad. Oh my god, this is awful. You're not even gonna say sorry. Of course. Yeah, everybody's taking their frustrations. To fly, I've simply got to. If someone, someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Don't bring it around. Don't you hang on my parade. Don't. Hey, Mr. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll beat my drum and if I'm found out, your turn at that, sir. At least a big fake it, hat, sir. We used to fake seizures at front parties when she got bored. <laughs> my father. Lester, you're gonna spill beer on the couch. Oh, she wouldn't. It. So what? It's just a couch. This isn't life! I'm only trying to help you! Ah, right, beginning of the movie. Well, you better believe I'd hate my dad if he did something like that to me. Wait, I already do hate my dad. Ah, oh, and now it's the beginning of the movie. Oh, my dad! Someone really should just put him out of his misery. You want me to do it? Want me to kill him for you? Oh, wait. Mm, I know I don't know. But it's gonna be him or the wife. Because the wife is also have a girl now. Well, I guess I'm not a very nice girl then, am I? My god. Guys, what's the name of that movie? I don't know the name. But it's about, I think that the daughter killed the wife, the mother, with a mask. That's a theater mask, you know? What's the name of this movie? Please comment down below. Thank you, please. You know I'm not serious, right? Of course. Thank God you make this certain. You know how lucky we are to have found each other. This movie's not better than Green Mile. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Well, that's true of every day except one. Today, the last one. The day you die. Oh, so it's gonna be today? Okay, now he's better. I need to start running again. <laughs> I would really love to see me smoking, be like. Yo, Ricky, how's it going? Pretty decent, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Oh, I'm correct. He's really gonna think that something's happening. Oh no, we he ha wait. How is he gonna find it? Because he has that tape of him uh, working out naked. But like, how is he gonna find it? That one tape. Ah, it's not gonna be there. It's been years, years, months. So sorry, guys. Oh, it's gonna be one of them. Come on, it's gonna be the first one. Come on. And also, the tape it doesn't begin this time. He was filming her before. Fuck. 
Oh, he can kill him. Okay, I understand what the movie's doing now. Is that her? Smile, you're at Mr. Smiley's. Would you like to try our new beef and cheese pot pie on a stick? Just $1.99 for a limited time only? We were just at a seminar. Uh, buddy? Uh huh. You know, this really doesn't concern you. Well, actually, Janine is senior drive through manager, so you kind of are on her turf. <laughs> Would you like smiley sauce with that? Lester, just stop it! No, no. You don't get to tell me what to do. Exactly, you dig it. You dig it, the affair. Facing a potentially very expensive divorce. No, no, I, I understand. Ah, you were already facing a divorce. What the fuck? Okay, so she's a suspect. The father of the guy, the guy, maybe the daughter. It would, it would be amazing. Angela is the killer because it would be like you know all this time the whole movie he wants to have sex with her and she killing him. It would be great. Then I understand the Oscar. After one next door, Jane left her geometry book in my bag and she needs it to do her homework. The father's going after. You have a big dick. Look, I'm not gonna talk about his dick with you, okay? It's not like that. Like what? Doesn't he have one? <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's gonna think that he's prostituting. <gasps> I mean, the angle is a little wrong, but I understand. <laughs> How he's not, you know, big up his son until now because he's calling a faggot because I thought he would be more violent about this. He's acting like, oh, I'm scared. What's gonna happen? Why my son is doing? You know? Wow, look at you. Have you been working out? Some. <laughs> oh, when we when he responds, oh, the father's gonna show up. I'm so scared. Dad. What did he make you do? Oh no, he has a gun in the hand. I will not sit back and watch my only son become a cocksucker. Jesus, what is it with you? Uh -huh. Oh my God. I'd rather you were dead than be a fucking faggot. Yeah, I heard that. I suck dick for money. Boy, don't start. Two thousand dollars, I'm that good. Get out. <laughs> I'm the best piece of ass in three states. Get out. Get out. I don't ever want to see you again. Why are you crying? You're also gay? What the fuck? I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> like, that's okay. <laughs> you sound so dick. That's fine. You took the money? Will you ever break free from the constant cycle of victimhood? You are only a victim if you... Ah, oh, that's it. We all have the power. I don't think we can be friends anymore. You're way too uptight about sex. Just don't fuck my dad, all right? Please? Why not? <laughs> if I had to leave tonight, would you come with me? What? If I had to go to New York to live tonight, would you come with me? Yes. Yes. You guys can't be serious. You're just a kid. Go fuck yourself, psycho. Hey, shut up, bitch. Janie's a freak. Well, then so am I. And we'll always be freaks and we'll never be like... The father's here in the house. At least I'm not ugly. Yes, you are. And you're boring. And you're totally ordinary. And you know it. Fuck. <laughs> Oh no, Kevin Spacey is gonna come. My god, my eyes hurt. Oh no! Nice shot. Huh? Jesus, man, you're so. You want me to get Ricky? He's in James' room. Oh, you know. Your wife is with another man and. You don't care? Nope. Oh, for one second I thought that he was gonna try to kiss him, I don't know. We really ought to get you out of these clothes. Yeah. It's okay. Wait. Is 
Am I correct? He's gay? I... You just tell me what you need. He's gonna try to kiss him, is that it? Yes, that's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got the wrong idea. Yeah, that's it. That's why he's so angry. I'm gonna accept it because he's 99, because I hate the idea of like a person is homophobic because he's gay. No, there's a lot of people who are homophobic because they are homophobic, and that's it. But okay. I refuse to be a victim. Yeah, but you're not being a victim, you know? I mean, not being a victim for his midlife crisis, but like. This movie has a lot of shots where people are in the dark, but there's a light in the eyes. Just like the Adam's family. You don't know. What do you want? He also don't know. Are you I'm not you. Awful. You are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Wow, what a long day he's having. Jane already lived it. Are you scared? I don't get scared. No, they're dead. They're still there. She doesn't look like she wanted that bad. You not seen it? Oh, we show it. Okay. Okay, congratulations on the movie for this being very... first time. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, fuck. As I was saying, congrats on the movie in being very frank with nudity. Beautiful shot. How's Jane? What do you mean? How is she? I mean, she's really happy. Good. Good for her. I'm great. Are you? I've got to go to the bathroom. Ah, With everybody in the house. Oh, shit. You're not gonna film me, right? Yeah, he's crazy. It was not her. It was the father. <gasps> you kidding me? I thought it was the wife. So he only do that because he knew that who really was him, right? I guess I could be pretty pissed off about what happened to me. But it's hard to stay mad when there's so much beauty in the world. I mean, it was part they only died because of misunderstanding. You have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sure. You will someday. You tell me that Green Mile lost for this? Are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe this. I can't. Oh my god. Really? This one? This shit? Oh my god. Depression Mile? Come on. The movie. And guys, I'm so sorry. Let's begin saying that I don't like this movie. I mean, oh my god, this movie is so boring. It's so depression and midlife crisis of everybody. Like everybody has problems. And okay, it could be something that it could be shown like nice, but no. First of all, Kevin Spacey character. I don't feel happy for him at all. Even when he's trying, he's doing stuff where he's supposed to be like, oh look, I'm doing it. I'm having a voice. I'm not rooting for him because he's an asshole. And I'm not only saying about like. Wanting it to be with the daughter's friend, but I'm talking about like the, all the rest. Oh, because I can talk about myself, I can be an asshole. And that's it, he's an asshole. The whole movie, that's any moment. Oh my god, he's an asshole, he's a fucking asshole. The wife is not perfect, also, believe me, the, the wife is awful. But like, I don't understand the beginning of the year saying, like, oh, the, you don't have a reason for divorce. I think that because in the time period, you are not supposed to have a divorce unless you have a reason, but okay. Let's forget about that. 
Okay, I have the feeling that also this movie has a lot of beautiful stuff saying about like, oh my god, how's life, the beauty of the world, and stuff like that, as he said in the end, like, if you don't feel like this, you're gonna feel the end. But like, okay, that's better, there's a lot of better ways to show, I don't know. I know that I'm gonna go against the tide of people saying that I don't like this movie, but like, guys, if you like this movie, can you tell me why? Because this is the kind of movie that I said that is like a piece of life. That is a piece of life. But in this case, it has a bigger event, because the bigger event is he dying in the end. But the point of he dying in the end is not important in the whole movie. In the whole movie, I'm being like, oh, maybe he's gonna die, maybe this person's gonna die. But it's not something like, oh, it's gonna be a mystery, stuff like that. It doesn't matter. And it's only a misunderstanding, because the father is gay. And yeah, I know that we have something to say about like, oh, the homophobic military guy that is gay. Wow, what's news? I know, probably in 99 this must be like new, but like, come on. 2024, yes, the homophobic is gay. What a soccer, you know? Stupid people can be homophobic without being gay. That's the worst part, you know? That's it. Alison Janey character, he never show it, never show like, why she's like that. She has a problem, she has something happen with her, you know? Or she just like, I don't know, sad, depressed. You know, I don't know. I think that this movie could be barely written. Be better written. This sucks. And, I mean, for best director, I understand. Because this sucks were beautiful. There was a lot of beautiful shots. Beautiful moments. The contrast in colors. The red color of the car and the door. Especially with the rain when the father shows up. It's beautiful. So, the direction is greater. And the acting is greater. But, like, the script. It could be so much better. So much better. I don't know, it's not for me. That's some movies where a lot of, maybe in the future, I think that's for me, you know, like X or Nope. But like right now, no, I don't. Okay, Kevin Spacey is horny and sad. And that's the movie, that's two hours of the movie. <sighs> okay, guys, that was it. I can't believe that Green Mile lost for this shit. Not shit, but like, it's not good. I tell me really that Green Mile is worse? Comment down below if you think that American Beauty is better than Green Mile and show me your points. I would love to know your points. Bullet points. <laughs> well, guys, I'm so sorry. I mean, oh my god, editing this is gonna be a nightmare. It's gonna be a nightmare. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video until here. I really hope you like it. Ah, Kevin Space, honestly. Uh, in case you do, you can subscribe, give it a like, and help me reach 10,000 subs someday. I have a Patreon, I'm gonna post fully action, daily assets, and post the next videos. Everything that's in the description. That's it. Thank you so much, and bye. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag running through the wind, running to start again?